Hello there everyone, it's Vanessa here today to talk to you about some of the nonfiction reads that I've been reading so far this November. I'm going to be talking about Ghetto Side by Jill Lovey. This book is mainly arguing that while the author agrees that the criminal justice system is very heavy-handed, she believes that it is more heavy-handed towards small pretexts and is really shown as being inadequate and oppressive when it comes to more serious crimes that lead to bodily injury or death, specifically in South Central Los Angeles or South LA. She goes through the book by conveying to you historical background for this issue, including how we all used to be the ones that settled our own scores in American society, and that that has been really declining as we have given more of a monopoly on violence to the state which includes our police force. This has been the case in many white and affluent neighborhoods, but it has not been the case in South Central LA. So Jill Levy goes through this book by embedding herself into a detective force where she follows one specific detective to see how he has such high clearance rates and what that means for this community. Jill Levy tells us that the white homicide rate has been going down steadily over the past 30 years, but this has not been the case in South Central Los Angeles. It has has been declining but not to the same extent and as a result the citizens of this area decide for themselves I'm going to take matters into my own hands and settle my own score because the detectives here cannot clear these cases and as we continue seeing this avenging of violence uh, it just continues in a big circle people don't trust the police to be able to solve these cases. Jill Levy also argues that this is much deeper than just not having the clearance rates. It also has to do with the intimidation of witnesses, it has to do with uh, segregation and gentrification. Because the people in South Central LA live in such a walled-in city, they all know each other and they know each other's business and this is not as much the case in affluent neighborhoods where you don't really know your neighbor. Mainly in this book, she deals with these topics and this history by focusing on one specific case and that is of Brian Tennell. Brian Tennell's case is very different than the typical quote-unquote gang case in this area because it is the death of a son of a cop. We are also introduced to an array of detectives mostly focusing on John Skaggs. He is a, an amazing detective with a crazy clearance rate and Jill Levy really wanted to focus on John Skaggs to show the positive what could happen when clearance rates are very very high. Meeting John Skaggs made me realize he has nothing in common with me. He is a white guy, he is a Republican, he is part of a line of people who have worked in the police. But what I do have in common with him is his real focus on justice and his real goal of attaining justice for all of these victims and these victims' families. Jill Levy really portrays John Skaggs in a way that makes you connect with him. He is relatable and he is personable. What makes John Skaggs really interesting is that he really cares about his job. No matter the specifics of the case, no matter if it's a quote-unquote typical gang case, he's going to put all of his expertise and intellect into it. He cares about his witnesses and he cares about the families of the victims so much that he goes to visit them, he takes their calls even after the workday is over, that he takes them out to eat. So you can see that he really cares about the people that that he is in coming in contact with in this community. He understands the lives that the people in this community face. He gives them life advice, but he never really lectures them or tells them how they should be living their life. And most of all, he is just a very good detective. He is good at his job, and he uses his amazing photographic memory to connect dots from the crime scene to the witnesses to what the case is all about to make sure that this case, when it goes to trial, it's going to come back for the prosecution. So really what Jill Levy is trying to get with here is that it's important to clear cases, especially in communities where the police and the community don't have good relationships and have not had good relations in the past. Every case must be tried to the fullest extent. Every case needs to be given the John Skaggs treatment, as Joe Levy says. This treatment means a true persistence and a true pressure. It's putting this pressure and persistence on these cases that is going to come back to help alleviate the relations between the community and the police. I just really enjoyed this book because of the way that everybody was portrayed in it. It showed the true humanity of people. I think this book really goes to Jill Levy and the way that she writes. Uh, she is a journalist for the Los Angeles Times. She has a background in this. She is mostly focused on these kinds of stories as a journalist. I'm really thankful that I got to read this um, because it has expanded my mind about what can be done to help 
homicide rates go down in these areas. So that's pretty much it for me. I shall get back to you as I continue reading my nonfiction books for this month. I shall see you in my next video. Bye-bye.